What's happening, guys? I'm back with another review of the Samsung Flash Memory SD camcorder. But do take note that I this is not the one I intended to get. Um, actually, the one I'm after is an HP HD 1080p camcorder. A lot smaller than this. But since that they were out of stock, I just went to go ahead and get this and see if that maybe this shares same like different features. Not that I'm too sure if this is any like HD resolution, but I guess we'll find out. But in the meantime, um, I won't be really keeping this camera, but and like because I'll be going back to uh, Walmart the day after tomorrow to see if they got any in stock. If not, then I'll be keeping this. So this camera that I'm filming this with right now will be going to my mom, and uh, so she has something to uh, do with herself, like take pictures of, of some stuff while I work my way with this. But anyway, let's just get to the opening of this. Let's see what. Uh, Unique features this thing has to offer. So I just took the liberty of opening it a little bit. I do have a 30 day guarantee from the source to take it back, and that's what I'm going to do. Only if they have the uh, camcorder that I'm wanting to buy, if it's there the day after tomorrow. So Here is the uh, software, similar to what uh, my this camera offers, but I didn't see no point because if it's uh, SD card readable, then I don't see the need of using a program. But this has got uh, some kind of um, PC software. I'm not too sure if it's like a editing software for like editing videos like I would with my capture card, but we'll soon find out enough. But anyway, uh, that's that. Get that to, to that in a bit. But here's the uh, here's the body itself. So I'll just take that out. And here we are. I'll just roll it on out. Okay, well maybe not. I don't want to get this too touchy and greased because if I want to take it back, it's got to be in pristine condition. They say as long as it's packaged back properly like this and nothing too shabby, they'll have no problem taking it back and refunding my money for it. So, here we are. Sorry if there's not enough light to broadcast this with, but it's kind of dark, but pretty good screen. Well, the eye anyway. And uh, it's got a little tag over here. I wouldn't even bother putting this up through that because you probably can't read it anyway. But from what I can assume, this here is probably the, uh, the microphone. And um, probably the functions for zooming in and zooming out. Uh, mode for probably uh, taking pictures and whatnot. That's another thing I like about these camcorders too, is that they take pictures just like these ones do. So it's like a, a video recorder that's meant for digitally recording better than this than what this thing can, except for better quality. So, and uh, here's where the battery goes. So, battery shouldn't be too big, and it's a self-charging uh, battery by USB, so it's not so bad. That's pretty good quality. So. Uh, Here's the screen. Oh, come on. Alright, here we go. So, here's the screen. I'm not taking that off because uh, if I do take this back, everything's gotta be exactly the way it is, or else they won't take it for anything less than what I bought it for. So, right here is the uh, menu thing and the optional thing. I can't really point at it right now because uh, of the focusing. And this little red button here must be the uh, recording. Not too sure. And the T and W must be the width and zooming, I presume. But I'm not too sure. And here is the uh, speaker, I think. I'll know more when I put this together. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to try to pull this compartment. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, there we go. It's got USB, SD card. Shows the sign that it's charging. But like I said, I'm a I'm a technology geek. It won't take me long to figure out what these things are uh, for, like everything else does. But that's that. And another cool feature about this little screen right here. It can. Uh, Until like that, and 
pretty much face forward so that, you know, when you want to record yourself and you want to know what exactly if you're pointing at yourself, you can just turn it around like so. And, uh, flip back like so. Not too sure. No, okay, so. Pretty much if you're, like, filming something that's down afar, you can do that. Why not? Pretty cool. Um, it also displays the information right here, too. Actually, I'm pretty sure you've seen that. Right there. It's, um, 65X, um, IntelliZoom, which, which I pretty much kind of guess that's, like, a lot of, um, like, a lot of, uh, <laughs> zooming you can do, a lot more than what this can. Uh, Smart BGM, um, long battery life, two hours, long video, I'll figure that out later. But anyway, I'm going to close that up. I'm leaving everything the way it is, because if I have to take it back, the guy, like, the service representatives want exactly like this, nothing less, or else I'll just say, too bad, you got to keep it. So I'm just going to keep it everything like that, but it's not going to stop me from recording. So here's the battery. We obviously know what that is. So that's that. Um, here's the uh, AV component cable. So I, that's, there's the first step of figuring out what uh, one of those slots were. So this is to hook up to the TV and view everything. So that's not too shabby. Here's uh, the other thing I like about this is that. It doesn't take uh, AA alkaline batteries like these things do. Like it's a self. Like all you gotta do is plug it into USB and charge it. You don't need to buy alkaline batteries, which is I'm really super happy about because buying batteries for this freaking thing here is a pain in the freaking ass. Like if it's in, like if the voltage size, like the power of the voltage is less than what this thing offers, there <laughs> you won't get no battery power. Zip. And what, from what I can presume, this is probably the charging cable. And this is the hookup to the computer to charge it as well, so that's not too bad. Um, and that seems to be all that there is. Nothing much more or less, but yeah, that's all there is. So I'm just gonna keep everything like that because if I do, there's probably a 50-75% chance I will be taking it back. All depending on if they stock their other camcorders up, which I hope they do because, well. I want to give myself what I actually guaranteed. I actually got this on sale for 169, but the HB 1080p is actually 148, and yeah, that's a better bargain. And it's full 1080p. This this here, I'm not too sure if it has any HD resolution, but either way, I'll find out either way. But yeah, oh, I think I forgot to close the compartment to this a little bit. Yeah, I did too. So yeah. Computer hookups, SD card which I currently got, I currently got right now. It's in this camera, but I'm gonna transfer it just to see. So um, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the, I'm gonna switch over to this thing, and you'll see what the results are after this. Please stay tuned. All right, so I am back with the um, camcorder itself, and it actually seems to be really good quality. But um, I'm still gonna target the HD 1080p HP camcorder because well HD is probably the best that uh, brings out anything in quality but this will do for now I'm not gonna argue and um, I don't know that my voice uh, quality sounds really good on this so um, can't complain there but uh, yeah this is a uh, camcorder from the side and what it looks like in the front properly so as you can tell uh, this thing does not lack of light like it actually has it's like um, it seems to have its own built-in light system, so it actually makes things more bright to like brings things to life a lot more than what my other camera does. But I am thoroughly impressed with what this thing can do. But uh, hey, all the uh, only time will tell of how things will end up, and if I don't end up uh, getting the um, HP camcorder if it's in stock in time, I'll be keeping this. So um, until for now, I'm leaving everything the way it is. And uh, I guess another thing I discovered is that. Um, with my TV here, um, they had the uh, RCA brand for 1080p, same aspect ratio and everything, just 22 inch for the exact same price I paid for it, and I just couldn't believe it. Like I was like, um, I was just astounded, like uh, in shock, because I was like, you know, I bought a TV like that's 19 inches, and this is actually three inches bigger 
So I'm definitely gonna get it. Um, they don't see no problem for why I should be able to exchange it because I got the receipt. It's only a few weeks old. And uh, as long as it's packaged properly and nothing's really in harm, which I've really been maintaining it, like you can see right over there. Uh, what's this thing focuses? But yeah. That's it over there. Um, TV kind of lines the screen a little bit so I won't keep it focused on there too much longer but yeah I'm definitely gonna trade it in because it's better to get three inches bigger for the same price same quality just the brand name and uh, don't get me wrong the brand is really good I had no problems with the TV whatsoever I just I kind of want a, big, a bigger aspect ratio and everything so shouldn't be too bad but anyway this has been my review of the Samsung flash memory SD camcorder hope you enjoyed and I hope this uh, helps you in your um, you're finding a better camcorder but most of you already have the high definition but for those who don't uh, this one's not too bad it's good for recording videos like the one I'm doing right now but I'm still upgrading to HD if it's possible for me to score it on Friday and whatnot but it'll do like this ain't too bad and everything so this camera's from the source by the way I yeah went to go and see what kind of deals they had there and well this camera has seemed to be under my budget line so that is all she wrote and um that's all there is to say and review so hope you'll catch me on my next video of the HP HD 1080p camcorder oh that sounds like a big phrase to say but y'all know what I mean when I review it and hopefully I'll bring back a RCA 22 inch LED HDTV full 1080p and I'll review that one too. But uh, for the videos that I've actually done reviews on, like especially on uh, on, I'll keep that up so people have a reference to when they go and buy a TV, like if they want to upgrade from a, a box TV to a, a like an HDTV, I'll keep my video up for as a reference so you guys can decide whether if it's worth spending your money on or not. So. Anyway, this is me signing out. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you on uh, the review of the HP if I get it. If not, well, we all don't expect too much. Thank you for watching.